Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for Host Sun, Moon, and Rising Gemini. And I want to say to you, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is the fifth month of the year 2017. And I want to say thank you to all the people I'm sending you loving energies. Um, thank you for um, the wonderful message that you have left behind. Thank you for, you know, just the beautiful messages that you're really connecting with me and connecting in such a way these messages are vibrating at such a beautiful um, high energy vibration and what a lot of people do not understand is that by just leaving a message and a beautiful message when somebody else reads it you are healing the energy vibration of another person and this is wonderful thank you so much for um, you know going on this journey with myself this month is the month of may it's a wonderful powerful month it's your zodiac energy vibration um for you gemini who are having birthdays so your birthday zodiac energy will start on around the 19th of the month so this is going to be extremely wonderful you are going to have the energy vibration of the devil to deal with in um, this month because this energy vibration of the month of May is the energy vibration of a fire sign and it is the energy of the devil okay so whenever the energy of the devil comes around and you as an air sign and especially in this year where it is a year of uh, a magical happenings and magical beginnings what is going to happen is that you're going to realize how wonderful this sort of energy is going to happen for you and the beautiful things that is going to come out for you guys so be aware of this and understand that life has um, wonderful magical things for you Gemini in this year of 2017 okay as we move on for your focus you have the energy of the star and the energy for the star for you guys is just so wonderful so vibrant so beautiful and um you guys are just going to bring in wonderful magnificent magnificent wonderful things in your life and you're going to have a plain understanding understanding that um this year is a powerful year so for the people who are going to celebrate their um, who are celebrating birthdays especially in the month of May uh, you Gemini's is going to be a powerful you know energy vibration that is going to be so high for you guys whatever you want you can manifest so the month of May and uh, for a lot of people who have been experiencing difficulties and that sort of a thing you're going to realize that in the month of May the energy of the star is going to come in and your wishes and dreams are going to be granted okay so this is wonderful energies for each and every person out there this is so good this is very protective this is uh, the angels and guides saying and your guiding angels saying that your wishes and dreams are going to come true okay in this month so for the Gemini's I am saying to you open up to these energies because these are going to be helping you wonderful wonderful in this month so you carry the focus of the energy of uh, um the star energy okay as we are looking and this is wonderful it's going to be um a very balanced extremely balanced month with the energy vibration of the masculine and feminine side but yet still what is happening is that uh, the world and the moon is here so you have uh, like it's uh, going to be a lot of people but yet still the moon um, is here so you know be aware of what is going to happen um, we begin with the energy vibration with the earth energies okay and then we're shifting gears um, on the, the 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 point of you changing um, signs to the zodiac sign and you know as I've always said I love this when this happened in a hair like this because what is happening basically is that you're moving you're vibrating at a, such an high energy vibration but what is also happening is that this year is going to change a lot of people lives because you're going to see wonderful energies coming in on the 21st of May you change the zodiac sign so especially for the people who were born um, the 20th of May and that sort of a thing you're going to feel the changes the transition um, for the first for the people who like were born in the first six days 
of your sign you're going to see a lot of uh, and feel the energies vibration of new energies and you know um, the energies of you know a fantastic time where you're going to be aware the star energy is always uh, um, the energy of the masculine and feminine okay the star energy has the energy vibration of your sister sign the war the Aquarian so this is just going to be a powerful time the the star core you know it encourages us and um, optimism of faith and the divine intuition the trusting in the universe and this is what is going to happen as we look at this month we have four weeks in this month we have the water week the fire week the hurt week and another fire week as we are looking at what is the aspect for you guys in the first week which is extremely good whatever is happening is that the the, the general energies is the energy of love okay so it's the first week is going to be a water week the energy of love as we look at the energy of love we have the eight of Pentacles and I love the energy of the eight of Pentacles so what this is saying is that a lot of Gemini people are going to connect with this person in the first week this eight of Pentacles this is an energy vibration of a, a Capricorn or a Virgo person I am feeling Capricorn for some people the energy vibration of Capricorns for this person but it's going to be love at first sight or it's going to be a connection that you feel as if you're spiritually connected in some sort of a way okay whatever is happening this is going to be a very good union because this connection is going to elevate and it's going to bring in Things beyond your wildest dream okay it's as if whenever you two come together um, with the power and the energy that you have you're just going to um, breed um, luck around you okay you're just going to breed luck around you okay so this is extremely wonderful especially for um, the for, for the people who are looking for someone the energy vibration of an earth sign person is more balanced for you because you're here so you need someone to balance you out and the earth side energies and the air people always have very good relationship <clears throat> because they connect together at a higher level okay so whatever is happening you're looking out for um, a relationship a positive relationship try a hurt sign a hurt um, sign person because they are the one who has the very high energy vibration as we look at the second week with the second week is the energy of fire it's the energy of looking for the inner strength within and you have to focus in this week on the two of cups the two of cups is always the energy vibration of you connecting with someone else but yet still it can be in a business sense or it can be friendships you know so this sort of a thing is more of friendship some people is the energy vibration of you meeting a wonderful person who's going to spend a lot of time and yet still wonderful beautiful moments in your life is the, the, the extent of this fire sign is also here that it can cooperate this energy um, that is coming in so for whosoever out there it is it is wonderful because what is going to happen is that you um, being cooperated with this fire sign person whether it, it as this is in business it's going to be a fantastic business business is going to be good because these five sign people are passionate about whatsoever they do and being so passionate with whatever they do you're going to see and they're going to align with you in a higher energy vibration okay so this is just going to be wonderful it's going to be extremely powerful in the second week as we look at the third week we have the energy of the Empress the Empress is the energy vibration of the love but yet still the nurturing 
so whenever the Empress comes up it is always the universe sending that motherly energies um, in to help you and the Empress comes up with a world so your third week is going to be one of the most fantastic week because in the third week uh, um, the, the, the energy vibration of things of um, luck money abundancy the third week is going to shake up everything and you're going to start seeing um, financial success abundance that sort of a thing the energy is going to bring in a lot of money but yet still another connection <coughs> sorry in the outer world so this is going to be extremely extremely good when we're at this point in our life we're going to understand that we need to conquer all that we need to have in our lives and we need to understand that we can't just sit by and wait for it to come and sometimes we're forcing the energies of these things to come in and sometimes it's better to just leave it alone don't force anything just make sure that you have the sort of energy that you need around you so in the third week you're going to realize that things are going to start picking up okay in the third week things are going to start picking up okay as we go to the fourth week it's another fire sign I'm loving the fire sign energies um, for you guys because in the fourth week it's going to be wonderful fire sign from the Emperor and the Emperor comes up to make you be aware of something okay I love the energy of the Emperor because the energy of the Emperor I see the energy of the Emperor as the goddesses and the godinas and your spirit guides and the masculine aspect of all these guiding angels and spirit guides and the universal beams that are watching over you but yet still some people intuition is going to be awakened and yet still some people are going to see something that is going to happen in a sort of a way that you're going to think you know am I seeing this right and yes you're seeing this right because whatsoever situation that is about to happen in your life you're going to um, be aware of that and you're going to connect uh, with certain aspect in yourself but yet still you're going to realize that there are so many things uh, that you need to, to do for yourself so as I break down this week there is a lot of love that is going to come in especially in the the first week uh, there is going to be love coming in and you people are going to connect with earth sign um, um, energy people so if you're a woman you're going to be looking for earth sign people or if you're a man you're going to be looking for earth sign people energy of love is just so wonderful it's beautiful um, the sense of money there's a lot of um, what I'm seeing and what I'm uh, I'm seeing for you guys is there there's a lot of accomplishment in the sense of the form of love what you're looking for is going to um is really going to connect with you the, the the form of love that you want in your life is really just going to connect with you at the high energy vibration which is good in the second week for the fire sign you're going to look for inner strength in the second week but as you look for inner strength in the second week what is going to happen is that you're just going to connect with the universal angels and you're going to um, be protected and guided in the second week in the third week it's all about success money ends of situations situation that hasn't been working this is just going to end abruptly and things are just going to be coming out okay I am working um, with the energy I have faith have faith so in the first week it's going to be a spiritual week and this spiritual week with the energy vibration of the lovers is wonderful because some people are looking are looking um, for love and you need to have faith some people are looking for love have faith because the right person is going to come in at the right time okay so it's all about the love and this is like um, true personal love personal relationship connecting with a soul made connecting with a twin flame but this is a connection with 
a soul mate a soul partner that is going to guide you to a space of somewhere that is so beautiful in your life and this is just going to be extremely wonderful so have faith and believe that this is going to happen because if you have no faith then you don't let the the energies of uh, the blessing coming in so in the first week you have the color of purple and this is really a spiritual um, color use the energy of purple and call upon the universal angels to place the rainbow ray and the purple ray over you and this will help you to protect yourself okay in the second week we have the energy of uh, okay and enlightenment enlightenment in the second week and this is this is so wonderful and this is so powerful of having enlightenment in the second week because what this is saying is that with the energy of inner strength that came up and the energy with this situation that is going on enlightenment is going to be the theme of the week because you're going to be enlightened there are certain aspects and certain things in your life it's an awakeness because whenever we have the energy vibration of inner strength it is when we're going to go deeper to connect with who we are as a spiritual beam and by doing that we are able to work with other people in the sense so in the second week we have the energy of enlightenment enlightenment is when you realize that you have been fighting um, yourself and things by connecting with yourself you're seeing the truth about situations around you and also about yourself because enlightenment is always a light bulb moment coming off as we look at um, I'm sorry as we look at the third week the energies that we have for you guys is the energy another purple energy which is says balance so this is wonderful a wonderful energy vibration of balance come in and the scale the scales need to be balanced so this is good because what this is saying is actually that the Empress is bringing in um, balance the energy of the world because the world is always uh, the energy of a wonderful wonderful experience and this situation that is happening is that uh, the balance uh, between the spiritual and mundane world is going to happen so you have the energy of balance and what is happening is that if you have any lawsuit if you have any unjust situation in the third week what is going to happen because the third week is the energy vibration of the hurt the third week is a powerful energy vibration of the hurt and that is when your zodiac birthday begins so this is so powerful for you Gemini's because in the third week you can see that the blessings is going to come through because you have the energy of the Empress and the energy of the heart which is two extremely powerful powerful sign the end of the world is the energy of an end to end cycle and something new is going to begin but you have here the color purple which is balance call upon Archangel Ragiel and um, in this in this time and Saint Germain because they have the purple ray so call upon the purple ray um, Archangel um, um, uh, Zachiel and Saint Germain to help you in the third week it's going to be a wonderful powerful week the people who are having birthdays in the third week it's going to be extremely extremely fantastic okay I'm having perception and you have the energy vibration of your um, the red the um, your base chakra the red is always your base chakra so in the third week you're working with the energy of the Emperor which is always always the energy of the Emperor working with your base chakra this is extremely good because healing is coming in for your base chakras especially your base chakras because there is where you get the energy of to go out and to create for you not really create but go out and uh, try and manifest wonderful um, supply of financial abundance in your life and 
you know despite what is happening is this perception with uh, the moon is that you're going to change certain aspect in your life you are going to change certain aspect in your life and this is extremely extremely good so you know when I'm looking at this and when I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of accepting and I'm kind of touching on certain aspect and certain things we all know that uh, um, we are connected in um, spiritual ways okay we all know that it's not as if we don't know do you want to choose to have your spiritual lives do you want to connect on the spiritual level you don't have to but you can con um, connect on a moon deal on the conscious level okay because I still be a normal person and do everything normal but I know within me that I'm a spiritual being so it's up to each and every person to choose whatever vibration and however you want to be my advice or my readings just help people to understand that um, the energy around you and energy that you gives off is what you are going to receive okay so I am working with more extra energies with these cards and I'm seeing what do we have for the first week okay there is going to be um, a lot of conflict in the first week especially for the people who are in relationship a lot of conflicts in the first week conflicts is going to be heavy in the first week conflicts are going to be extremely heavy but it's all about connecting with another human being that doesn't um, have the same energy vibration because no one has the same energy vibration okay so you'll be connecting with someone else there so there will be a lot of conflicts and that sort of a thing but yet still these conflicts is going to help to heal something else so relationship especially people who are going to have relationship with um, the earth sign people there is going to be conflict because you you are here and the other one is hurt but yet still the conflict is cleansing certain things it's clearing up things in the second week you're going to find the key to a situation and I always say the key but situation a solution that you have been looking for in the second week of April you're going to find that solution because um, by praying and asking or you know by asking the universe for help because not everyone pray by asking the universe for help and ask them to show you the way you are going to be blessed by seeing what it is that you need to do so whatever is happening understand that changes are going to come because when we get the information of the key is wisdom is understanding is um, is something happen that we need to follow through on in the third week it's going to be wonderful the third week there is going to be a lot of but it's going to be good because people do talk when they see other people doing things so you know it's gonna be it's as if everything start to take off it's as if whatever that was holding something is now releasing the energy and you are going to start to feeling wonderfully um, blessed in the third week and this is going to be extremely good so you know um, I've always said to people whenever there is a situation just ask the universe uh, for intervention divine intervention and clear up whatever is going on so this is going to be extremely wonderful extremely powerful because we have the energy and this is so wonderful we have the energy of the Empress but yet still you have the energy of the world so the third week the beginning of your zodiac birthday is just going to be just extremely wonderful as we look at the fourth week we have the energy vibration in the fourth week as um, um, prediction prediction so the prediction that you make is going to be extremely good it's as if you're going to connect with your eyes self but yet still there are people because people are seeing what you're doing and realizing what good you're doing that they're going to be magnetically wants to connect with you and this is just going to be extremely good so whatsoever is happening know that it is divine intended to happen and these things are going to be 
beautiful okay so when we look at your month your month is going to be a wonderful month for a week you will see certain aspects certain uh, negative aspect there is no um real um support for you guys but yet still you are bringing in the eight of pentacles with um the two of cups and the world and the moon and this is wonderful because the two last week especially the two last week the orconis the major orconis comes up and the world and the moon is just grand some people do not understand the significance with the world and the moon together because the world is mother earth and the moon is what bring us and give us the emotional unbalance sometimes but yet still the world and the moon together it is the end of something but yet still whenever something becomes to an end the psychic keep in and your intuition start to go at a higher energy vibration I must specify and say I'm always doing that that it's going to be a brilliant month for you guys congratulations for all the people who are Gemini it's going to be a wonderful month and you know life is full of a lot of surprises it's going to be a good year it's going to be a powerful year wonderful new energies are going to come in and I'm saying namaste until next week please remember to like share this video thumbs up have a wonderful month namaste